Hey, welcome to the latest installment of First Second Sketch School. Sketch School is an ongoing series of short videos like the one you're watching right now, where different first second creators, like the one you're watching now, show you how they draw certain characters from their books. My name is George O'Connor, and today I'm here to be talking about the latest and last book in my Olympian series, which retells classic Greek mythology and comics form, Dionysus, the New God. It's the 12th and final volume in the series that I've been working on for 12 years. And today I figure, hey, the book's called Dionysus. Why don't I show you how to draw Dionysus? Now, <clears throat> whenever, so I didn't invent the Greek gods. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, the Greek gods have existed for thousands of years, but what I did invent was my own particular takes on the way they looked. And one of the things that I really worked very hard to do in each of the character designs for every goddess and god that is featured in this series is I tried to hide a few clues as to what they were the goddess or god of in their physical appearance. Sometimes it's quite obvious, like if it's Athena, she's wearing a battle helmet, she's the goddess of war, we get that. Somebody like Dionysus, it's a little bit, well, some of it's pretty obvious and some of it's a little bit more obscure. First off, let's talk about Dionysus as the god of. Most people, if they know who Dionysus is at all, will just tell you he's the god of wine. And that is true, but that's a very limited view of what he was the god of. The wine is very important to him. Wine was Dionysus' gift to mankind. But it was a way, it was part of this sacrament for him. It was the way of communing with the god. And wine has a real, it, it's nice, it can make people laugh, it can make people have a good time. It can also give people terrible pounding headaches if they don't have a sip of it, like I do. There's a lot of stuff that's bad about it too. And that's very true of Dionysus in general. He's a very dual-natured god. Some of Dionysus is good, some of Dionysus is bad. If I were to really break down Dionysus as to what he is the god of, most importantly, he's the god of disrupting the status quo. Basically, he is the god that brings chaos. And you never really know which Dionysus is going to show up. Is it going to be happy Dionysus? Is it going to be sad Dionysus? Is it going to be angry, murderous Dionysus? I don't know. Today, I know what we're going to do. We're going to draw a happy Dionysus. So <clears throat> first thing when drawing a Dionysus, especially if you're drawing the happy variety, I always start with the eyebrows. Uh, I'm going to draw two lightly arched eyebrows like two hills. That's his eyebrows. Then I'm gonna draw the top lid of his eyes beneath those. And because he is a bit, for lack of a better term, a bit manic in his happiness sometimes, he has eyes that are pretty much wide open. Now, I mentioned the clues. Here is the first clue. This is, uh, I'm not gonna color everything here. You don't need to color it, but this is an important clue, so I'm gonna use a little bit of color here. One of his eyes is purple. And the other of his eyes is green. This is a condition that some people and actually a lot of dogs and other animals have. It's called heterochromative, means you have two different color eyes. Uh, David Bowie, for instance, had two different color eyes, one blue and green. And I'm not saying David Bowie's crazy, but I am gonna say that it has a disconcerting effect. It's actually very attractive too, but when you first see it, when you first see an animal or a person with heterochromative eyes, you might be like, what's up there? And that's kind of like the look of Dionysus. Because he is the god of, among other things, he's the god of madness. He has a look that is a little, little disconcerting, a little touched, and the eyes kind of sell that. The eyes also, grapes come in two varieties, and they come in a lot of varieties, but two basic varieties. They come in purple, they come in green, just like his eyes. Now his nose. This is the easy way to draw a nose in like five steps. Draw one swooping line like that. That's a little bit of his arch of his nose. A longer nose line like that. A little line that comes in, like you're drawing like a reverse check mark. Then a line that looks like a parenthesis doing a push up. And then another line looks like another parenthesis. Boom, line and nose in five easy lines. That's my easy way. Now, you can't see it in me because I got a beard, but most people have that little groove underneath their nose. I'm just gonna give him that. And I said this is gonna be happy Dionysus, so prepared for a very happy Dionysus. A little dip in at the bottom of his lips. I'm not gonna draw his full lips there. Um, cartooning is drawing, that's what I consider myself a cartoonist. It's conveying information with pictures and some, I think the art of cartooning is to use as little lines as possible. If I give his lines too much definition, it's gonna look like he's wearing lip gloss. Lip gloss wasn't invented yet. Um, I'm gonna show his teeth. Let's 
give a little bit of shadow beneath his teeth to show that his mouth is open because he's smiling like he's, he's laughing. He's having a good time. There's more teeth and there's the shadow of his bottom lip. So we have a kind of, uh, kind of manically happy uh, Dionysus going there. Uh, Dionysus' facial features, like most of the Olympian gods, he's very beautiful. He also tends, I'm not going to say he's full on androgynous, um, but he does have softer features than, say, like a ruggedly handsome god like his brother, half-brother Ares. So while he does have good cheekbones, they're a little bit gentler. He's a well-defined chin. It swoops up. And then let's give him like a hint of an ear. We don't need to draw the entire ear because Dionysus tends to wear his hair pretty long. And this is where we're going to have another clue as to what Dionysus is the god of. So if you've ever seen the way grapes grow in the wild or even not in the wild, if you have them in your backyard or wherever, they grow on these vines that have a very specific curly Q type of vine. It grows and grabs around things. Dionysus' hair has the same curls. Now, I could have given him green hair, but I felt that was a little bit too far. So he has black hair, but he does have the very specific curly cues that just come down. And the fun thing about drawing curly hair is there's no way to do it wrong because curly hair, it's just curly hair. It looks wherever it goes. Actually, side thought, fun thing about drawing an Olympian because Olympians can change shape, you can't draw an Olympian wrong either. So if you're drawing your Olympian, it looks pretty weird. And frankly, this isn't the best drawing I've ever done and it's nowhere near the best drawing I've ever done. Anytime you draw an Olympian, it's always correct because they're shape changers. They can look like anything you want. You could draw like, I don't know, a turtle and it'd be right. Or a stapler, whatever. Getting a little bit more hair. Now, this last bit that is a clue as to what he is the god of, um, it's not something I invented. This is something if you go back and look at old paintings and old sculptures and vase paintings and such, Dionysus wears little grapes in his hair, as if he didn't get enough that he was the god of wine. So draw a few clusters of grapes at random places. Draw some leaves, because he also keeps the grape leaves there. It's a really big grape. It's like you stuck a plum in there or something. And uh, let's give him a thin neck. Not like crazy thin, but he's a pretty slim guy. Give him a little bit of a hint. He wears like a leopard skin a lot, like he's Fred Flintstone or something. But, you know, so there. There is my drawing of Dionysus. It's not the best drawing in the world, but for, what, maybe five minutes while I was talking at you and stopping... It's not a bad investment of your time. And if you are somebody who wants to be an artist, somebody who's interested in art, and I assume you are if you're watching this, then this is maybe a good lesson to learn. Draw fit, draw, draw fist, <laughs> draw first. No, draw fast, draw quickly, and make tons of mistakes. And don't be embarrassed to make mistakes because making mistakes is kind of like how you learn. And sometimes you're gonna draw something that looks kind of okay, but it also looks kind of weird because his chin's really big and it's off balance and his hair is a little bit flat on top, it's okay. This is just, this is a quick drawing, and it's more about, like, just learning from those mistakes. So I hope this was fun. I hope you all learned something. I hope you're like, I would like to see more of these sketch schools, remember, with the silent hashtag. Because you know what? There's a lot of them, and a lot of first, second creators are making them. So please keep watching this space for other sketch schools for, starring other creators from first, second books. And also, if you like this, please go out and get my book, Dionysus, The New God. The 12th, you can read it first if you haven't read any other ones, the 12th volume in the Olympian series. Heck, get all 12, why not? And uh, yeah, this was, uh, once again, George O'Connor. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was informative, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye, thanks a lot.